One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tom Dizzo here. Uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. And uh, also, you know, um, today is uh, 31st of October. You know, um, the Friday was the last day of the month of October. And uh, so I um, hope you guys been killing it uh, and uh, uh, really look forward to uh, November and, you know, try to end kind of uh, this year uh, strong. Uh, 2020 has been crazy, uh, you know, with the sector moving, coronavirus and, 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 and all that. So uh, try to, you know, finish, you know, strong, the, the year strong and, uh, uh, you know, basically trying to stick to that uh, process daily. That's all. That's uh, you know all it matters. Uh, take what your process gives. Uh, so uh, today I'm gonna go over one of the topic that I mean I've been getting you know really good questions from a member. Uh, she's been asking me about Tom. I mean I mean I mean I've went over this topic for uh, I mean not in details but uh, you know I've gone over it in in uh, uh, several videos uh, before. But uh, she she was basically asking me um, how how can I identify you know when to scalp you know when to add to winner and when to hold for the all day faders right and I, I think that's you know pretty good question as well and uh, so I just wanna uh, to go over this uh, today uh, with you guys and you know hope uh, you know you could uh, get some of the uh, you know. Um, I hope I, you know, at least I could uh, help you guys to how to kind of identify those uh, and for you guys to know, you know, uh, what to look for, right? And when to kind of, uh, you know, scalp and when to add more size and when to recycles and when to hold, you know, for the all day faders. Uh, so I'm going to bring up some charts here so that uh, you guys have an idea what I'm talking about uh, so yeah let's bring on EQ this was running on uh, Friday and I think it's this one is pretty good example um, I mean it's it's like this uh, it's not easy to know uh, how much uh, I mean, as as a short bias trader, right? I mean, this video is basically for shorts only, since uh, I'm 100%, uh, you know, short bias trader. There's no way for me to to know that uh, how much or like you know how far the stock is going to tank, right? If I knew, I would probably uh, really uh, you know get a lot of size here, you know, load the boat here at some point and just hold it, you know. If I knew that the stock would you know went to a you know 8.9 or whatever 8.5 yen tank to 6 i would get my my shares up here and then hold it all the way to 6 right there's no way for me to e to be able to know that right and but there is a way how to kind of guess it uh, you know the potential you know what i'm what what i'm trying to say here is uh there's a way for you to kind of guess how much of the meat is left right on the bone I was like uh, how 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 much uh, you know the meat is left uh, you know from the move and uh, you you try to take the meat of the move okay and uh, this is uh, basically what uh, Bao is uh, you know telling us daily uh, you don't need to uh, you know uh, top tick or bob like but bottom taking it uh, to to be able to make money right you we can you know easily take the meat of the move and if we can do that consistently i mean that's that's really one of the advantage and and we don't have to even stress about it right and uh, that's one of the way that i've been trading you know for a few years now uh, i like to take the meat of the move and you know i want to stress free money out i just want to get in and get out uh one you know quick trade and 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 that's it right uh Basically, pretty much I could say that I'm pretty much a, a scalper. 
uh, if, if you want to call it but uh, so uh, regarding that question from the members uh, from 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 that particular member has been asking me so how can you identify if it's a scalp or if it's a you know a recycling uh, or if it's you know the old day fader right so first of all there's there are you know like several things from what I'm looking at here so first of all I want to see I mean EQ uh, the first thing uh, I always check is uh, you know uh, the market cap and, and, and all that right uh, let me check it here real quick uh, I think this one is not a typical kind of a small cap kind of company uh, has uh, like 145 uh, million market cap shorts flow around like a one uh, like a 13 million uh, hang on one sec hey guys my name is Tosh Bradley I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in MIC MIC in general text me at 213-458-5997 this is not a robot it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up, back to the video. 13 here, 145. And uh, you know, for, for the big chart, I mean, the resistance can basically tell, I mean, you know, like whenever you see this type of chart, sorry, cookies. This this type of chart is like is, you know, has pretty decent volume here. Basically, it was dead at this line and it popped back to that twenty five and you know and like basically the stock is is really broken and yeah, uh, you know you can easily tell from the daily chart. You know, uh, like everyone is buying here. So those are, you know, pretty much the baggage, right? And so if stocks. Uh, will show up some sort of movement pop here and uh, you know probably is gonna fade uh, I'm not sure about the filings uh, if it has anything on this yeah this one uh, 14 a 5 million shares yeah so I you know it's, it's been a while since I do a video on uh, how to check the filings but uh, you can say here that they have S3 from 2019 uh, you know, 250 million. How many times you, they use it? Uh, uh, this one once. How many here? 150. Probably, I'm not sure if they use it all. Uh, this one. Yeah, nothing. And that one. Yeah, five million shares per share so seven seven bucks so 35 right so 150 35 so technically they still have like I think you know I'm, I'm not really good with filings but technically I think they still have like 50 millions to kind of you know dilute and yeah so I just want to paint the you know the big picture here right so uh, I know that the stock is uh, uh, it's pretty uh, the crappy companies uh, went to the, like you know 25 and then I saw them here so uh, I know that you know if if, if stocks uh, show, show some sort of movement pop back to some uh, that resistance line uh, likely it's gonna fail right but I don't want to anticipate the front side and so first of all the other two things are, I'm, I'm looking at here so first I paint the whole picture right and all the flow and all market cap and all that the second part here is I want to see the intraday right uh, to to basically look at the chart and so uh, by looking at the chart and you can tell uh, basically this was like a 4 p.m. Uh, on Thursday it went to like 9 tang uh, it's broken right and in the pre-market it went back to that 2.5 2.5 line here again apologize um, and then you know it rejects so by looking at this, you can tell how much meat on the bone on you know stock has. So basically this is the range from the stock, okay? So six point six, let's say six uh six point eight here to this five point five. This this is where the stock is grinding for the last few days, for the last like a week or so, right? So I know that this the area of 
basically that's that's the best case scenario that stock is going to tank to that uh, to to those areas right so uh, if i want to be you know conservative a little bit uh, i i just want to be let's say i i i want to uh put this uh like uh, divide by two or whatever uh, 6.5 here to 5.5 so technically you know for me six would be the ultimate target like the best case scenario it could get there right so once the stock when I, when I determine you know basically the potential target of the stock right and now I look at the current price actions in the morning and let's say if you trade it around you know let's say you didn't you know e even anticipate this uh, pops but uh, you try to you know let it you know uh, kind of uh, tank here and then you show back the bounce right I think I did short here at 787 but uh, I ended up covering <laughs> way too early but uh, um, so uh, basically uh, if, if you're shorting uh, up here right but you have to kind of zoom out and keep things in mind that okay so I have to kind of uh, uh, have a plan or um, I mean you know it's it's really hard for me to kind of say this because everyone is different and everyone has and you know you guys are trading differently from I am uh, but there uh, you know I, I just want to show you guys how to paint the big picture but you know at the end of the day it's still up to you how you want to kind of approach it right but as you can see here I just explained the six is a potential like that's the ultimate target right and the stock is uh, let's say the stock is moving around 7.8 and, and, and 8 here so technically you have two dollars you know probably left uh, for it to tank right so basically that's the meat of the move okay so now you know that you know this stock is giving you potentially probably two bucks uh, you know on 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 a uh, on potential move so now you have to kind of plan it and this is this is really the this is really the secret part right and everyone is different everyone has a different you know share share size uh, also everyone has a di different risk management and I will lay out some of the examples here so let's say you know that stock okay so stock is moving at 8 now and it has like two bucks probably to like the best case scenario has two bucks to tank right and as you are like uh, more like the old day faders kind of guy or like you know if you are like bear you want to take the big me like uh, the the big move you know uh, from the stock you don't want to yeah guys so if you need or if you still have uh, questions uh, regarding this, this topic DM me anytime and uh, in the meantime uh, yeah, good luck everyone and, you know, try to finish uh, uh, November strong and also December as well this year strong. So, yeah, i see you guys on the uh, next one. Take care. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.